All right, Richard. Right. Yeah. Let's talk about culture today. Sounds good. I think it's actually rare for orgs to have their strong culture, but your org certainly had the strong culture. I remember when you leave Facebook, you wrote a post about Seattle or Stay Crappy. Yeah. Yeah. So how is it possible to have culture for an organization? I believe every company and every org、mm-hmm. has a culture. I mean,、mm-hmm. every group of people, it's our human tendency to form a set of unwritten rules. I mean, if you want to define what is culture, culture is really a set of unwritten rules that everybody just follows. Yeah. Because if you write it down, it becomes rules and laws. And、okay. so that's the difference between culture and laws. I see. And so. I generally believe that any group of population of people will have culture. The difference is like how much you're intentionally building it,、uh-huh. how much you talk about it. There are companies that they rarely talk about culture,、uh-huh. and rarely talk about like intentionally building what what the cultural norms are. And then, whereas I take a stance that it's extremely important to actually lay out、uh, a set of values, which then become the foundation for the culture that you want to build in your company, in your organization. Even within your own team, you speak of tourism. It's easy for companies to、yeah. just、uh, have some slogans、yes. of culture that is good. Yes. But like in your definition, what is、uh, good、yeah. culture versus useless culture? I don't think there's anything useless. I think you want your value system to actually be valuable,、mm-hmm. right? When I say valuable, what that means is like I want to be able to use the set of values on a day-to-day basis、mm-hmm. in like conversations, in debates, in decisions, in a set of like you know. Situations where it is necessary to break a tie or like make a quick decision and move on.、Mm-hmm. That's where values become useful. And truisms like you know, hey, be honest or <laughs> be friendly or、yeah. be nice to people or you know, those are all just like I, I think you, those are given. You know, you don't have to like specify them as values. What makes a value interesting is it has a trade-off. It has to have like, okay, well, I would rather trade off this for the other thing. And those are hard、uh, trade-offs, and that's what makes the difference between, like, you know, a, a useful value and a truism. So how do you pick the ones you give out? Because they are really、yeah. hard. So,、yeah. I mean, that's that's effectively what forms the culture of a company. Like, in general, if everyone in the company decides to like trade one off for the other, for example, one of the examples that we have is like for builders by builders. Yeah. Right. Wherein we made an explicit choice that, when given an opportunity to go build something, we would focus on the builders. So our product could like expand into very many different areas,、uh-huh. but we're constraining the product from expanding into like this unconstrained set of areas by focusing on builders only. And that means like it, it comes with this inherent trade-off that、uh-huh. we're trading one off for the other. Yeah, like when I think about、uh, our potential customers, if not builders, like people who do strategy, people who do reporting, and、yes. people like these are important decision makers. And they often are willing to pay、yes. a large amount of money. Correct. And it's not like you know they're they're not a good audience. It's more of like okay, well we need to choose which narrow vertical we're going after, and that means that we need to like constrain ourselves, which means saying no、mm-hmm. to some of the feature requests we get. That is one example for product、uh, direction. Yes. What about for I don't know operations or day、yeah. day to day? Day to day, one of our other values is no sacred cats.、Uh-huh. What that really means is like you know if you see something that doesn't make sense for you, and、uh, doesn't logically make sense for you, then you are free to suggest improvements, suggest alternatives, and actually make a case for that, and then go change the company. All right,、yeah. you know whatever process we've been doing. The the trade off there is like it takes a lot of time. Mm. An effort, but what you get out of that is like everything is logical. If it doesn't feel logical, you should change it. The other trade-off of, of that is sometimes people like processes, yes, and they want to stay in certain ways. Yeah. So it's just yeah. yeah. If you challenge everything at the beginning, it may introduce friction. Yes, but、uh, in the end, you get more logical. Correct. I、okay. think so. I think it's one of those things where if you can't explain why something the the way it is, then we shouldn't hold it. All right.、Yeah. Last question. Yes.、Uh, you can like you can set a set of、uh, culture. Yes. But、uh, for people to believe in the culture and、yeah. actually carry the culture,、yeah. uh, what is necessary? It's actually more like you're opting into the culture of the company or the organization. So this is why even like during our recruiting process, we talk about you know here are the values, and you may align with the values and you like the company that way, or you don't align with the values and you can opt out of this company. And so part of it is like you know if you. Are very explicit about the culture, very explicit about the value system. 
Now, I believe that you get the right people already from the top of the funnel. I think one of the meta of aspects of like having no sacred cats is that you can also influence the culture. Sure. Again, one of the other things that I want to be very careful about is like culture is not set in stone. It's not like, okay, well, we've decided this is what it is and it's going to be forever this way. No, I've like seen company um, like Facebook, especially when I grow from a very small company all the way to like a large company. And uh -huh. during the process, culture revolves, yeah. culture scales. And some elements that used to make sense when you're a small company no longer make sense. And you apply the no sacred cats to those things. Mm -hmm. You want to be able to like, you know, open to changing those. I see. Like yeah. One of my own experiences, I, I feel the culture most strongly when there is conflict, when there is trade off, when there is decisions. Yes. And uh, you use day to day yes. decision making to. I agree. To the 100%. Yeah. If you're a, a value, a living value system that is constantly used by your employees on a day to day basis, it's mm -hmm. so much more powerful. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All Thank right. you. Cool. Thanks. Bye.